Hey everybody, Troy with eBuzz Central. This is part two of my leaving windows to switch to Manjaro video. And today we're going to be going over, if you're a lot like me, once I get it installed, I like to go and set my appearance up the way I like it. I'm gonna show you how you can do that today. What you're gonna to wanna to do is click over here and go into settings. And while I'm doing that, I just wanna remind you to please like and subscribe this video. So you can be entered for the Asus ZenBook 14 giveaway on August 31st, 2021. Now when you go into settings, the first thing you're going to be introduced to here is set up a light theme, dark theme, animation speeds, change your wallpaper. Of course, you can switch your themes right here. All you got to do is click on one you want, apply. I like to stick with the dark theme, so I'll apply there. Let's look at changing the wallpaper. Come over here right out of the box. You scroll down. You've got some very good looking wallpapers here. I believe it comes with 31 out of the box or 32. And if you download a wallpaper, let's say you find something online, you downloaded it, you saved it in your pictures folder, you can go over here and add image. Uh, there we go, let's add it. And there it is right there. All you gotta do is highlight it, apply, and it changes in the background. It's that simple. But I want to go back to the one that come with it. So there we go. Let's apply that. Let's close out. Show more appearance settings. Just click on that button right there. And it's going to open up. Application styles. You can change the way the applications look in their boxes. If you, you check boxes, color of the inner boxes, uh, your bars right here. If you want just a simple one like this, or do you want a thicker bar, uh, or do you want it like the old Microsoft look? Um, there's so many different ways to change it. Plasma style. You can change the way plasma looks. You can have your air look, your breath color, breath dark. We're presently running breath 2 2021 dark, but you can change it to any one of these. And what's beautiful, what's great about this is if you want different plasma styles, you just go down here and go get new plasma styles. And all these themes will open up for you. You can scroll down, you can find stuff that you like, you can download it, and it changes the whole look of your operating system. Isn't that great? If you want to change the whole look of it, like this, this the Lyra S Dark Plasma theme, it'll give you the theme, plus it'll let you download that wallpaper that's in the background and just change the whole way that your system looks so that's another way to customize as well let's go back over to appearance okay colors you can change your window titles you can change uh, the colors that you want there do you want a darker green do you want a lighter green um, and Manjaro's color is green um, but you can change it to green blue and if you don't like any of these color schemes, get new color schemes. And there you go. They load up. And you can get anything from uh, yellows to blues to reds to purples. Well, they call it wine. They don't call it purple. But you're seeing here just how many options Manjaro gives you to change the look and make it yours. That's one thing about Windows. Windows 7, Windows 10, Windows 11, whatever number they're going to give it this week. Being able to customize Windows, you're pretty locked down. You can take Manjaro and make it your own. The beauty of this is, is when you download Manjaro and put it on your computer, you own it. You own it. You don't own Windows. Windows is licensed to you. You can't make changes. You can't change the overall look because it's a locked down system. This isn't locked down. You can change it. You can do whatever you want to it. Window decorations. Now, right here, windows decorations, we're running this breeze. Now, you could run oxygen. Your buttons are a little bit different with the circles around them, and then there's a little highlight around the boxes. Or you can run plastic, different buttons all together. You got your windows-looking buttons. But, as in before, get new window decorations, and there you go. They load up. You can download. You can get them to look like Mac if you want to. You can get them future dark with dark blues. There are so many different ways to customize it. 
you just go through there find out what you want and you can also go up here to recent you can have them itemized the way they're shown to you alphabet highest rated first so you can click on that and it'll load up the highest rated ones first and there's the best ones that have been voted on to be the best so it's really awesome the way you can change things around fonts this is what I like about this right here you can adjust all fonts I've already done this um, it comes out of the box at size 10 this is the way it comes out of the box that's the size of the font me being a little older I want the fonts to be bigger so you just go over here click size I'm gonna to go to 12 click OK and when you hit apply you can watch it take effect and it takes effect system-wide it changes all your fonts makes them bigger for you now if you want them smaller you can make them smaller you want them bigger you can make them bigger you're not tied down at all you can change font size on Windows but what starts happening is when you start changing sizes of boxes when you start changing sizes of fonts if you notice it starts getting blurry and on here in Linux on Manjaro you don't have the blur you can make things bigger you can make things smaller it does not matter what you do and how you customize it it doesn't ever get blurry or get that hazy look to it like you get on Windows okay icons let's go over to icons now these are the packs it comes with right out of the box now I'm running breath 2 you've got Adweta, you've got Breath to Dark, you've got Breeze, you've got Breeze Dark, you've got Gnome, Genome, Gnome, whatever they're calling it this week, Oxygen, High Contrast. But once again, if you do not like the icons, you go down here, click Get New Icons, and there you go. They load up. And you can do these by most recent. You can do them by highest rated first there's just there's no cap on what you can do and you can customize your machine the way you want it you can make it look the way you want it to look and that's the beauty of being on Manjaro Linux that's the beauty of Linux in and of itself but it, it the beauty is accentuated in Manjaro cursors you can even change where your cursor looks I like going with what comes out of the box which is the black cursor maybe you want to go with the white maybe you want to change the all together uh, you can go with blues you can go with yellows uh, you can go with the oxygen blue black dark or you can get new cursors it's that simple font management you can come in here and choose whatever font you want to use look at all of them you pick your favorite font you click it set it up and that's what you'll be using system-wide and then of course you have the splash screen now your splash screen is the screen that you will see once you log in and right before the operating system opens up that's the splash screen in between that so that just that's just a little taste of what you can do once you get it installed and you go through and you want to customize it the way you want to you can watch this video and pretty much change everything that you want to change in the way everything looks now what I'm going to do in the next video is I'm going to go over some of your base settings uh, and just show you where to find those um, you're used to them in Windows but when you switch over to Manjaro they're in a couple different places but I will go over that and show you that thank you guys for watching the video today don't forget to like and subscribe so you can be entered for the giveaway of the ASUS ZenBook 14 which will be going out August 31st 2021 have a good day and I'll see you in the next video